Hi everyone, welcome back to the Food Network. We have made our way back here, somehow, some way. But today we are going to take a look at a video that Chantal uploaded titled 350 pound woman works out at Admati Park, Kuwait. <laughs> okay. Um, so as we know, Chantal has been doing uh, a diet and she's been on a weight loss kick recently. Um, I'm not sure how far that kick will extend. But if it's her kicking, I wouldn't imagine very far. As we know that Chantal started uh, out this diet and then immediately went on over to having a cheat meal at Taco Bell. So now we are working out. But this was before the Taco Bell. So just to give a little timeline. Uh, if we finish this one rather quickly, I do want to move on over to another one of Chantal eating an entire family-sized chicken pot bot chicken pot pie by herself. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if saying family size does this thing justice. I mean, this this really probably could serve 12 or more people. I'm not exaggerating when I say that either. Uh, the most recent mukbang that she uploaded, I would say that chicken pot pie could feed 12 people. Um, there is one point during the video where Chantal just goes to grab a handful of the pot pie with her fist. I'm not joking. Um, so if we finish this one pretty quickly, we'll move on over to the chicken pot pie. This thing is gargantuan. Uh... Two grown men could not shake hands over this chicken pot pie. But regardless, we're going to start out with the workout video. Let's see what she has in store for us. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, beezers. Want a personalized video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's walking challenge, I am going to walk the entire Amity Park in Kuwait. And there's some cute animals we're gonna feed there and just enjoy the beautiful Kuwait winter weather. Yalla, let's go. So before I head into the park, I'm gonna get an iced Americano with no sugar at this coffee truck here. Thank you. Bismillah. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today's walking challenge is uh, Amadi Park. I have been here before, but I didn't fully walk around it. There's a lot of cute animals to feed here and it's just a really nice day to go walking again. So Yella, let's go. Are there gonna be more stray cats? Is that is that what this is gonna be? Another walking around a miscellaneous park with cats popping up from anywhere and everywhere. Huh. I've also noticed, I mean, I've noticed this since she moved out there, that a lot of what they do and where they go are during times when there is no one else around. I mean, I'm sure that that is done very much so on purpose. Uh, we've seen this with Amber Lynn, the whole thing during season three when Amber Lynn would go to Walmart between the hours of like, midnight and 4 a.m. when hardly anyone was there. Uh, I think that the girls in Girl World do this very much so on purpose because they want to have their privacy. They don't want to be looked at. They don't want to draw any more extra attention to them than they are already receiving. So, uh, yeah, a desolate park again. The iced Americano is actually really good. Mm. Pure coffee flavor, no sugar. <laughs> I'm 
The park has a washroom, I like that. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. This is a traditional toilet here in the Middle East. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's no way that she could do this. I I'd imagine the concept of this toilet is to squat and just sort of do it. There's no way. There's no way. She would have to stand and just hope for the best. I might hold it. <laughs> I want to run around this maze. Um, do we think that she uses this whimsical circus-like music on purpose? Like something that you would hear at a carnival? Um, to... Uh, it really makes me think, like, does she do this on purpose? Um, the Chantal's gait, G-A-I-T, her gait, the way in which she kind of meanders about and gets around um, is a little bit different than what you would see from a height, weight, proportional person, obviously. But what comes along with that is when you kind of... Um, well, the word sometimes used with Amber Lynn is waddle. When you sort of waddle around like that, um, when you add in this sort of music, it kind of draws attention to the way you walk even more. So I, I just have to wonder, I mean, is she making fun of herself here? Or is this just a coincidence? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Tiger it. <laughs> There's a nice gazebo here. Um, I noticed specifically in this right here, when she walks from here to here, you can really see the curvature of the spine. And how the sort of how Chantal's leaning back. We talked about this on the live stream from last week about the angle in which her spinal cord has to sort of bend backward at this point to support everything else. Huh. Zebo here. Nice shaded area just to. Uh... Have a little rest, finish some coffee. It's not that hot today. It's not hot at all, actually. It's nice and windy. I love it. You know, I haven't had any sugary drinks since starting this new lifestyle. You know, it hasn't been that long. But uh, yeah, uh, I find my stamina is already so much better. I used to- <laughs> I was about to say, I mean, it hasn't been that long, but it, I have not had a sugary drink since beginning this new lifestyle y yesterday. <laughs> Round of applause. To huff and puff and sweat just walking to the car from the apartment and i remember complaining you know that you know park close because um the, even the car was parked too far away so this is amazing and this is definitely motivating me to keep going every day that i have a successful day and wake up and think where can i go walking today so it's, it's very motivational and i hope that i'm helping some of you as well let's do this together i know a lot of people need to get healthy yellow so we picked up some pita bread at the bacala which is a like little grocery store you see around here kind of like a convenience store and uh, you know the thing that i hear oftentimes about her, her and Amber Lynn motivating people is not because they would come to your channel and see that you're exercising and making an effort and then that would be inspiration for other people to take an initiative for their own health journey. Um, it's more so because viewers oftentimes observe these women and they see of uh, 
what lies at the end of the spectrum, what could be, how bad things could get. And that's what functions as the fire under their ass to get them to start making an effort. Not the fact that, you know, we watch Amber Lynn walk a mile, allegedly, or Chantal meander around a local park. Um, it's kind of a more um, depressing reasoning. And, I mean, they've acknowledged this. This this isn't me, like, you know, casting shade or anything like this. They, they, have, they have really acknowledged that. They have said, you know, the fact that I am this sort of public figure on the internet broadcasting my life like this, I'm very aware that this is functioning as a uh, PSA for people to kind of get it together. Yeah, they're called buckalas. <laughs> and um, we are going to go feed some animals I have here in the park. So let's go see the bees and animals. All right, to get to the animal section of the park, we're going to finish taking a due tour all the way around so I get some more walking in. So far we walked 400 meters, I think. <laughs> so in this section of the park is actually some outdoor gym equipment of sorts. So we're gonna try some out. Let's see, I think this one is for sit-ups and push-ups. Yalla. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't think I can do this one. I can't do this one with my abaya. <laughs> um, a good exercise that I would like Chantal to revisit was uh, the elliptical one. I don't, no, they're not. But in the lobby of their last apartment complex that they lived in, it had a little workout center. I, when I say little, I mean, it was, it was quite literally like an elliptical, a treadmill, and maybe like one or two other machines. But when Chantal was filmed on that elliptical, she couldn't do it for more than, I think it was like 35 seconds. So, I don't know, like, if we're kind of tracking a health journey here, I would like to see a comparison of uh, you doing the elliptical again. Can you beat your high score of 35 seconds on the elliptical? Or do we kind of lose fumes around the 30-second mark? I would like to see that. But, I mean, so far she's done, like, a standing push-up six times. Um... We didn't give this a shot. We just kind of said, nope. And now we're moving on. All right. And I can't reach this one either. Okay, so uh, of like the four machines here, she has uh, rendered herself ineligible for two of them. Come on, Sala. Give her a boost. If she can't get up on this little pull-up machine right here, come on, give her, give her a boost. But, I mean, hey, at least you can lift Kybella, right? <laughs> Not appropriate for me and Anabaya right now. Okay, so she has now... Okay, we just completely skipped past this one. So I'm not sure what this one with the arrows and the circle on it does, but of the five here... She has uh, completely disqualified herself from four of them. All right. Will we go five for five? <laughs> Again, hey, remember, this is a workout video. We're working out in this video. <laughs> if, if you've forgotten. <laughs> What's this? Okay. All right. She walked past that one, too. I think that this was just another pull-up one. Okay. Yeah, these were two of the same. So does that count if they're the same machine? Huh. Okay, so she has now approached some little circle thing with arrows on it, and she's kind of twirling it around. I don't really understand how this is a workout, but let's see if it does anything for her.
Oh yeah. A balance beam. I can't even get on it without falling. <laughs> so we came from down there. We're almost finished. Some nice flowers. And sort of notice how now that there are more people showing up in the park over here, they are now conveniently on the other side of the park where no one is. Just, you know, by chance, by chance, now that there are a whole lot of people over here doing activities and stuff, Chantal and Sala are over here, aloof, away from everyone else. Time to see some cute animals. That's a handsome rooster. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Smells like goats. Hi. Aww. So cute. Pony. <laughs> and these are little deer. Hi. It's very strange to me seeing deer in a pet enclosure like this. I, I'm not really understanding the point of this, but I guess in Kuwait there are parks that you can go and just kind of look at animals in cages. I, I don't know. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of new for me. <laughs> Aren't you pretty? Some for you, some for you. Here you go, big guy. Oh, he made her give the bread. Hi. <laughs> here you go, eat it. Someone put lettuce in his hair. <laughs> Come here, lettuce head. Oh, good lettuce head. <laughs> Is it good? Well, why don't you reach in there like you reached in and pet the deer and take that lettuce off of his head instead of standing there and calling him Lettuce Head? That's not very nice, Chantal. That probably hurt his self-esteem. What if someone called you Lettuce Head? Lettuce Head. You like the bread? You like it? Oh, you're a good person. So we just fed a pony and some deer. Now we're going to feed some ostrich. Do you guys want to see my impression of an ostrich? Hi. Hi. <laughs> They're so cute. Yes. I love these guys. Little goats or something. I don't know. Oh, look at the babies. <gasps> you already had some. <laughs> Is this the same one? <laughs> there is a cat with the birds. Aren't they natural enemies? Look at these cute bunny rabbits enjoying their carrots. And their little houses are so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is a water tank, a mini one, <laughs> and it actually has clean water that people can drink from. And you'll see these all over Kuwait. They're very important, especially in the summer. And it's done by charities or people with more money. And in Islam, it's very important to do good deeds like this for other people. Wow, nice garden. So now I'm walking on the other... What good deeds do you do for other people, Chantal? If there are organizations out in Kuwait uh, putting up water tanks for people to use, what are you, what are you doing? Hmm? What, what sort of good deeds are you doing for people? <laughs> oh, she, she walked all the pet enclosures and gave them bits of bread and made fun of the one, called him Lettuce Head. <laughs> Other side of the park with the uh, animal side, and there's another park here to walk around. 
Here's another example of a water station built like an old traditional Kuwaiti house. Sometimes they have different shapes and everything. It's really cool. Here's another one shaped like a bottle. Here we have another water station shaped like a traditional Arabic coffee crop. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. All right, guys, I walked the entire park on both sides and fed some animals and got some good exercise and some fresh air and my mood is set for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go home, eat something healthy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming along, bye. Okay, um, we are gonna have time now to move on to the chicken pot pie video. Uh, so let's do that. Chicken pot pie time. Here we go. Skip past the intro. No one's buying your cameo. Well, hello guys. Hello. I'm super hungry, so I'm going to say bismillah See? and dig right in. Okay. Well, it looks like you already did. You're going to say bismillah and dig right in? Where did this come from? This gigantic portion already missing. <laughs> When I told, didn't I tell you? I told you. Didn't I tell you? I told you. Look at this thing. This could serve 12. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this crust here. As you can see, I'm eating hot pie. Look at the chicken. Mmm. I need to open a restaurant. I make the best pot pie. Now, my pie crust. No, I, I mean, like, I know that was just a joke and everything, like, but she made one pot pie and thinks she needs to open a restaurant. Um, close friends of mine own a restaurant. The amount of work that goes into owning and operating a restaurant, uh, that, that would be... That, Operating a restaurant for one week would be more work than Chantal has put in throughout the entirety of having YouTube be her sole income. No, you should not open a restaurant. <laughs> it's made with oil, not butter, not lard. And whole wheat flour. Super flaky. Mm. And I'm eating out of the dish because I just feel like it. Beauty bite. So there's chicken thighs. Yeah. I mean, why put it in a bowl and make a portion for yourself when you can just eat straight out of the pot? Um, yeah, super flaky indeed. Uh, this is a very bready kind of chicken pot pie. Uh, almost looks like there's too much. If you ask me. Um, my question is, what happened to the whole diabetes thing? You know, remember, remember that from like a month ago when she was on here saying like, oh, my sugar's so high. I have to change. This is bad. I'm on death's doorstep. This is horrible. I, here we are now with uh, a gigantic pot pie that could serve over 10 people. It's like, oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> huh this spoon too this spoon is gigantic i mean it's not like she's taking dainty little bites i mean that thing could be classified as a ladle to some that's a very big utensil um corn beans like green beans carrots oh my homemade gravy I'm not going to eat this whole thing. Don't worry. <laughs> and I made my own. Maybe not in one sitting, but she will consume this entire pie. There's no doubt in my mind. Pickled cabbage. So the trick is, guys, do not throw out your leftover pickle juice, okay? I added cabbage, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more vinegar, and a bit of honey. 
I'm spending there about 30 hours. Oh, and garlic. It's delicious. Wow. It's so good. Mm. So my gravy, essentially, milk, water, chicken. If, if I don't remember to see it when she does it, I will make a note at some point during this video to show you guys the clip of when she tries to uh, take it with her hand. Like, she, she does. She goes for a fistful <laughs> to just grab with her hand and, like, like, eat it like that. But then she stops herself and uses the spoon instead. <laughs> I hope I catch it. I really do. Chicken stock, the chicken drippings from the legs, um, salt, pepper, onion powder, um, seven spice, a bit of Parmesan, Worc um, Worcestershire sauce. And there's so much chicken and black pepper. Not that salty. Mm. There was already a huge chunk missing. That was um, my husband's <laughs> portion. There it was. There it was. Okay, I'll move my face. <laughs> okay, look at this. She goes to grab a portion of the chicken pot pie with her fist, <laughs> but then realizes, oh gosh, that looks ridiculous, and then stops herself. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll turn off the speed filter so that we can all watch it. Oh, well, it's not really that sped up. Whatever. Okay, here, here, watch this. Goes to grab a, a handful of the chicken pot pie to eat with her fist. Portion. <laughs> I mean, that just tells me. If she's eating meals and isn't filming herself, that's how she eats. That would not be out of the realm of possibility for Chantal to take her fist and grab a whole handful of chicken pot pie with her bare hand and then eat it like that. I mean, it is. It's like the kid with the chocolate cake from Matilda. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Now, when I was, you know, I'm always used to eating those like Swanson TV dinners. You know the ones I'm talking about, the frozen ones that are like cardboard? They're pretty good though. Mm. My new favorite thing is pickled cabbage. Um. I mean, I know I've said it already, but that spoon is massive. Seriously. That spoon. A ladle. A ladle. The holy flower doesn't taste much different than the other one. The regular white flower. And it has a lot more fiber and a nutritional benefit. That's how she's justifying eating this large serving. Well, because it's whole wheat flour and there's a fiber supplement and I used healthy gravy and then like, like, well, now I can eat 12 portions of it. <laughs>
Be- because it's whole wheat flour, we can eat it with our fist like that. <laughs> oh, this gravy is so creamy. Mm. Oh. It also has a bit of flour and butter for the roux. That's about it. Man, this is My cat's just staring at me like, what are you eating? Whoops. I'm going to put it here. So I used to eat the Swanson's dinners. The Swanson uh, pot pies. They're like a dollar. They used to be like a dollar. Now with inflation, they're like two fifty or something. I'm not paying that. I'll just make my own pot pie. Mm. The crust turned out so good. Well, honestly, I mean, if we're talking about those little microwavable pot pies like that, the the portion of that, quite literally. I mean, if Chantal is at the point where if off camera she is eating this with her fist and just kind of grabbing it like that, um, what would a Swanson pot bi- pie be for her? That's not even one full handful. I mean, that wouldn't do anything for her. So the portion size of those little microwavable things, I mean, those would be like bite size at that point. Wouldn't even be worth microwaving. Might as well microwave like 10 at once. I'll never use another crust recipe. Mm. Never. I did... So much walking today. Oh, more justification. Okay, so because she walked around the park a little bit, we can eat a pie meant for 12. And because it has whole wheat crust, we can also eat 12 portions. My stamina is insane. I love it. The stamina is insane. Did you hear that? When she, when she did the six standing up push-ups and then walked past all the machines and decided only to do the one where you turned the wheel, the stamina is insane. <laughs> Ma'am, there is something insane in this room, and it's not your stamina. The more you do, the more you can. It's 100% true. I think I'll have to freeze them. Or just eat it like... For real, who is she fooling? I mean, Chantal, in this one video alone, you have almost cleared out half of this chicken pot pie. You're going to have to freeze some. (laughs) If you don't finish this in one sitting, this will be a snack in two hours from now. I'll have to freeze some. Good God. Over the next few days. Mm. There's no bottom crust. It's just top and the vegetables and chicken on the bottom. That's it. It's so good. I wanted to film it, but we got home later than I thought. It was pretty much already dinner time by the time we got home, and I still had to like make everything from scratch. But first, I had to clean the kitchen, clean the dishes from the last time I cooked my my previous meal. And Ugh, I had to clean the dishes from the last time I cooked. And then I had to make more food on top of that. And I was exhausted from walking all day. Ugh. 
I, I mean, Chantal, what do, what do you mean your eye roll? Like, what what was that eye roll for? Really, your your eye rolling. You don't work. You don't do anything. Uh, well, I mean, other than walk at parks all day. I mean, why did you leave dirty dishes or d- dirty utensils or whatever in the sink from last time? Rolling her eyes. I had to clean a bunch of stuff and then use those same pots. <laughs> I, I, I mean, again, I could maybe understand the eye roll if you had a lot more going on or there were kids in the mix. Or, but I, I, I mean, that's the only thing you did today. You're talking about getting a maid. You can't even clean the one bedroom apartment. You need a maid. So the one thing that you had to do today, other than walk around at the park, allegedly, is clean a dish. And even that got an eye roll. I just did everything super fast. If I failed it, I would have had to get dressed. Like. Oh yeah, no, God forbid we get dressed too. Getting dressed and cleaning a pot? <laughs> Who do you think she is, Wonder Woman? I mean, I would have had to stay dressed. <laughs> I could eat the whole jar, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Self-restraint. Not something I'm very familiar with, but I gotta learn. Right, BB Gian? All right, let's see this crispy crust here. Huge chunks of chicken, yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, but this is batshit insane. Her coming on here and declaring that she's going to lose a whole lot of weight and she's going to start exercising now and then posts a big Taco Bell meal of like 10 different dollops of sour cream on it and then sits down to, I mean, I don't know. Like, what is a quantity of measurement that I could be saying that isn't family sized? Like, uh, like like a catering size, like a catering sized order of chicken pot pie for just her <laughs> that she's almost eaten half of, but she's gonna have to freeze. <laughs> so flaky. Mm. Mm. Fortunately, well, you're probably thinking, no, it's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm a fat girl who can cook when I want to. Ow. So yeah, so much chicken. <laughs> I put a lot of gravy, a lot of chicken. None of that skimping over here. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't we don't skimp out on ingredients in foodie beauty world. I mean, do y'all think she's going to take down this whole thing? I mean, there are only five minutes left. I mean, there is no doubt in my mind that Chantal ate this entire thing in one day. But just for the purpose of this video, I mean, she's definitely approached halfway, if not maybe a little bit more than halfway. Let me move my, let me move my, uh, I mean, that that's about halfway. I'm going to have to freeze some. I can't get over that. Mm. Okay, one more bite. Oh. This huge piece of chicken. Um, a little bit of the side crust. Oh, it's hot. 
Ow. It's like a whole thigh. <laughs> it's so good. It's like half gone, I know. Well, a big chunk of it was gone because of like Salah, like I said. But I Bullshit. Bullshit, Chantal. No, that portion in the beginning that was already gone, that was because you couldn't help yourself to start the camera. You had to get a few bites in. And then she said, oh, well, you know what? That was just from what he took. So he took a portion into his room and he went and ate it by himself. And then I'm just, no, uh, -uh. I think what happened is you sat down with this chicken pot pie. You couldn't help yourself to start the recording and you started eating a little bit. And then after you got satiated, as you say it, then you started the recording and then made it seem like, oh, well, you know, this portion's no. I had two a tuna fish sandwich, my first thing. Then where we went, I had, I shared a tiny size mango gelato with my husband. Uh, I had like a few bites. And then I had, that's it. This is the next meal I had. Mm. Okay, this is the last bite. <laughs> I'm still hungry. I know people think I'm trolling or I'm not serious. Oh, why would people think that? Seriously, Chantal, why would people think that you're trolling or not serious about this diet after two days in a row now you posted a Taco Bell mukbang and then eating an entire 12 person chicken pot pie? I, I can't imagine why people may think you're trolling. <laughs> but, but let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. I am very serious. I literally walked for like probably a good three to four hours today. And I barely sat down. Um, I'm sorry, but that doesn't matter. Especially at her age, that doesn't matter. I mean, there, there's like teenage boys that can get away with that, like eating like garbage cans and then still staying like, you know, in great shape and everything. But Chantal, you are not of that demographic at all. Um, at over 400 pounds like this, walking around for a few hours at the local park, like, like allegedly walking around and then coming home and eating this amount of food, that, that doesn't mean shit. I, I mean, what's that old saying? Like, you can't outrun a bad diet. I mean, we're not even running. So, I, I mean, we really can't outwalk a bad diet if we can't outrun it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But like, do you catch on to the justifications throughout this? It's whole wheat crust. It has a lot of fiber in it. I walked for two hours today. It, it, that allows you, that gives her the Willy Wonka golden ticket to eat this gigantic pot pie. <laughs> I, I, I mean, really, the mental gymnastics floor routine, it won gold. I just like from, I don't know if it's from walking so much or just not eating a lot of junk food. I, my stamina to walk is like, I don't even feel any pain. It's crazy. Mm. Oh, that was good. Okay, now I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> feel full. But you guys were right when I asked you about like the, um, if chicken thighs would be good in this. And those of you who said it's better, it's so good with the chicken thighs. And the crust is so brown because of the whole wheat, but the whole wheat flour, it adds like an extra bite to it. It adds like a, another layer of flavor to the crust. I put some egg wash on it. Yeah, it's very flaky. I love it. Perfect. I'm so, so happy it turned out well. <laughs> so I'm going to go uh, put this, divide it up into containers and uh, if I can find the lids. The woman who couldn't bring herself to clean a couple pots and pans from the last time that she cooked is now going to go up and divvy this into individual portions to put in Tupperware? No. No. If she actually does put this thing back in the refrigerator and doesn't just turn off the camera and finish it, it would go in the refrigerator as is. I don't think that any sort of wrap or aluminum foil would go over the top of it. She would probably just walk over the refrigerator and shove it in there. If, if she didn't just leave it on the counter where it is now, then come back to it in a couple hours. But what I think happened is, 
I think that she turned the camera off and then fin- polished this off. And put it away for tomorrow's lunch or whatever dinner. I don't know. Anyway, I was very hungry. Actually, now I can, yeah, I need to slow down because it catches up with you. I'm going to sleep so good tonight. I'm going to have a hot shower and then just get into like comfy PJs and relax. And I'm going to finish watching Cape Fear. I started watching Cape Fear. That is such a messed up movie. Like, I couldn't get over how good of an actress Juliette Lewis is. I was like, wow, she's a really good actress. She's always been a good actress. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks for um, having dinner with me. And um, seeing my pot pie, I'm very proud of it because pot pie is something I always dreamed of making. You know, I always crave it. It's one of those foods I crave regularly. And now that I can make it. She's always dreamed of making a chicken pot pie. I mean, there isn't much to it. I think the first time I ever made a chicken pot pie was when I was like 14. Uh, I don't know if this is something that people aspire to make in their culinary conquest of life it's always something i've dreamed of making (laughs) oh my this was a wild one y'all i mean there really wasn't much going on or much said in this video but just i I, i'm in awe of this thing i mean uh, of her behavior lately and ever i mean It's almost as if when Chantal declares that she is going on a diet or she would like to exercise more or start making an effort, things get worse than if she just didn't do any of this at all. If she just kept on with her normal behavior, things would be still be bad. Don't get me wrong. Things would still be bad. But it's almost as if we screw up even more when we are trying to do better. I I don't know how that happens, but it does. I'd say it's fairly easy. Once you get the hang of it, I'm happy I can make it now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Once you get the hang of it, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's like teaching someone to ride a bike for the first time. All right, everyone. Well, um, we are somewhat caught up with the Food Network. There are a couple other videos that we haven't taken a look at yet. Maybe we'll do that in the coming days. But Chantal, uh, as far as I know, is... Still neck deep in buffoonery. So uh, let me know what you thought of this video. And I'll see you next time. Take care.